Hey everybody, this is Bart with Great Meals Barbecue, and today I'm going to be doing some uh, beef back ribs. And the rub I'm going to be using today uh, was sent to me by Black River Barbecue, Mr. Michael Boyd over there. And I'm going to be using this uh, Bandelier beef rub today. And this has got, let's see, uh, kosher salt, granulated garlic, ancho chili powder, chipotle uh, powder, uh, other spices. Uh, one thing about this rub is this rub isn't uh, sitting on shelves, anything like that. Um, when you order this, it's made after your order is placed. And uh, as you can see, this is vacuum packed in here. Uh, so there's no air getting in here. This is uh, this should be really fresh. And I know it's fresh when it's when it's put in there. And I'm going to put a, uh, a link in the description into this right here. It's called their Back in Black Rub. And one nice thing about this rub is 20% of the proceeds go to wildland fire, uh, firefighter organizations. And any of you folks that live in the Southwest and California area that have dealt with uh, any of the, the forest fires and wildfires that are going on out there or have been uh, over the summer and everything, I'm sure you can appreciate the help that those people provide everybody and uh, what they put at risk uh, to take care of folks out there. Um, so if you would, please take a look at their website and uh, I'm sure take a look at the back and black rub. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And... Uh... I think the membrane has kind of been pulled off of this in spots, but it's still on there. But I know this is a pain to get off of uh, beef ribs sometimes, so I'm not even going to worry about taking it off of there. I am going to go ahead and uh, put a little bit of Worcestershire or Worcestershire, however you want to pronounce it, um, on here as a binder. And I'm not going to use much, just enough basically to wet the, uh, wet the meat down. And I'm going to go ahead and get this, this rub opened up here. And like I said, this is uh, it's vacuum packed. It's actually a uh, zipper type or zip zip lock type bag at the top, so you can close this back up when you're done. I really like that. A lot of these, when you uh, once you've opened it up, it automatically starts to uh, lose all that freshness. Oh, and this smells amazing. Let's see how good of a sh picture I can get here. I don't know if you can see the the uh, spices in there. But this isn't isn't a powder, and there's no big chunks of anything in there. So this looks really uh, very consistent as far as the texture goes. So let's see if I can get this on here fairly evenly. And like I said, this is a beef rub, so I'm using it on these beef ribs. Um, I have no doubt this would probably be good on brisket. In fact, I'm going to have enough of this left that I will do a brisket here in the coming weeks, and I'll probably use this rub on it. Or uh, I may actually go ahead and order the back and black rub to use on it. And like I said, the back and black rub, 20% of their proceeds from that go straight to uh, wildland firefighters organizations. And uh, I think that's a great, great thing that uh, Mr. Boyd's doing over there. All right. And I'll tell you what, I am, uh, I'm a good two feet away from this rub, that uh, the open bag here. And I can clearly smell all those spices uh, this far away. It's not like you have to hold the bag up to your, to your nose to see what's in there. So let's go ahead and get this side rubbed down. Now I'm not going to go super heavy with this. Um, I'm fairly confident this is going to have enough flavor that I'm not going to have to uh, overdo it to really get the get the flavors out of this rub. And I'm going to be doing these on my ugly drum smoker today, and I'm going to use some uh, hickory wood on there. And I don't know if I'm going to wrap these or not. I'll find out. Um, once I get to about the two and a half, three hour mark, I'll kind of look at them and see if I think they're going to need it or not. All right, that's got that covered. And I'll tell you, a little bit goes a long way with this. Um, that was vacuum packed really tight in there, real nice. Um, as you can see, I barely used any of this, 
And this is a uh, six ounce pack. I think you can buy this by the pound as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these ribs, let them uh, set for about uh, probably two hours here, just to let that set real good. And I got some running around to do this morning, so I'll get the uh, drum smoker fired up when I get back. That should set really well. And uh, I'll meet you back out at the smoker. All right, I'm getting our fire just about ready to go here on the uh, ugly drum smoker. And I kind of wanted to show you what I use as a heat deflector uh, down in the bottom of my, uh, on top of my basket. This is actually just an old uh, 70s GM hubcap off of Chevelle. And I cut notches in it so it fits around the top of my basket. And it actually works really well because the grease can collect here in this area here and kind of burn off without actually uh, turn it into a grease fire but then these slits around the side actually help disperse that heat i think a little bit and then there's about a gap i don't know about this far uh, three or four inches all the way around this for the heat to come up around the outside and it seems to to keep the heat pretty even across this this drum the entire the entire cook so i'm gonna go ahead and get these dumped in here this is not the grate I'm going to be cooking on. I just set this on here to get the uh, coals going here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, deflector in there real quick. Like I said, this just... Uh, This just sits right down on top of the coals here, around the basket, just like that. I don't know if you can see these or not. I was talking about these the other day. These are my, uh, they're just shelf hangers. And I cut them down and I've got the, the rails here. And that allows me to put my grate anywhere I want it, as far as height goes. I do usually keep two racks in there, but today I just need the one. So I am going to go ahead and put that one on there about where I need it. Get this closed up and bring it up to temperature. And uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes when we put the ribs on. All right, I pulled these ribs out of the refrigerator. I've let that set on there quite a while to get that uh, rub to kind of soak in there a little bit and let it draw some of that moisture out of the meat. And I'm going to go ahead and put just a little more of this on here. And I'll tell you what, the longer this set, the more you can smell those spices that are in there. And uh, it is really, really bringing out those, those uh, scents that are in there. And I said earlier in the video that I was going to be using uh, hickory wood on this. Uh, but I went to get the drum go up and going and realized that I didn't have any hickory. So I'm using pecan, which uh, should work out just as well on here. And I'm just going to put these right in the center of the rack. And we're going to close it up. And I'm going to stay right about uh, 225, 250. I may go up a little more toward the 250. And we'll be back here in a little while when I get ready to wrap them. Okay, it's been right at three hours. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and get these wrapped up. Bark has set really nice on them. You see it's starting to pull back a little bit there on the bones. I'm gonna go ahead and get these wrapped. I'm gonna probably leave these on for another hour and a half to two hours wrapped and then I'll take them off for probably at least an hour. He should be ready to come out of the foil here, out of the aluminum foil. And I'm just going to check the, see how tender they are. I'm using this instant reef thermometer here. Oh man, look how good those bones have pulled back off the, or the meat's pulled back from the bones. Not really checking the temperature here, but I mean that is, I don't know if you can see. It's literally falling through without me pushing. So let me get these off of here. All right, let's see if I can transfer these back over here. 
Oh, and they are nice and tender. All right, we're gonna put them back on here. Get that closed up, and we're gonna let them go for probably maybe just another 30 minutes here. Should be all that they need. And then we'll get them off and get them plated up. All right, we've got our uh, ribs. I've let them rest for just a little bit here. Let's see what we've got here. I can tell you they smell amazing. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. I don't know how well you can see that. The bark that's on there is awesome. So let's go ahead and cut one off the bone here and see what it looks like. Well, I say cut it off the bone, but really just have to lay the knife on it. It's doing it itself. Oh yeah, I really like the way those came out. I got a uh, got a really good smoke ring on there. And you can really, really smell those spices that are in there. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this, see what it tastes like. I mean, that is just so tender. And that rub is really, really good. Again, uh, this is from Black River Barbecue. This is their bandolier uh, beef rub. It, it turned out really well. I really like it. And um, again, they've got their back in black rub. Uh, the 20% of the proceeds go to Wildland uh, Firefighters. So go check out their website. And thanks for watching. I hope you like the video.